In this video, you'll learn how to use the present continuous verb tense in both positive and negative sentences, and of course, asking questions as well. Let's look at the present continuous, the structure. So of course we have our subject, and then we take the verb to be, but here we add after a participle. Now a participle is simply your verb with ing. Already know our subjects, and we know our verb to be's. Now let's just take any participle. So we'll take talking. Okay, so give me a sentence which she, is talking okay she is talking right now okay so when do we use the present continuous well we use it for an action that is currently taking place so always remember here now that's the important thing to remember now okay so here's an example sentence we're watching TV right now. Also use it for a longer action currently in progress. So for example, I'm learning English. So just a few tips for you to remember. The actions are not usually permanent. So with the present continuous, it's implied that there's going to be an end to the action. So our example with I'm studying English. Well, that action will not last forever. At some point, you will stop studying English. So we consider it more of a temporary action. Negative sentences. This is very simple because you already know how to put the verb to be in a negative sentence. So it's the same thing. We take our subject with the verb to be, and what do we do to make that negative? We add not, excellent. So here we know our subjects and our verb to be's with a not and a participle. I'm, I'm not talking. Mm, and let's complete that. I'm not talking to my mom, okay? I'm not talking on the phone. Now remember, these sentences all mean right now. I don't have to say it, but it's implied in the present continuous. So when I say I'm not talking to my mom, it means I'm not talking to my mom right now, not as a permanent action. And same uses, we'll just review them. So an action that is not currently taking place. So I could say, we aren't watching TV right now. And of course, a longer action not currently in progress. So I could say, I'm not learning English. And again, this would mean right now is implied. We don't have to say it. And of course, asking questions. Again, very simple because you know how to do this with the verb to be. So it's the exact same structure. We take our verb to be and then the subject with the participle, the verb in ing. So for example, we have our verb to be, subject, and talking again. Okay, so is he talking to Bill? Okay, and to ask about an action currently taking place and to ask about a longer action currently in progress. So I could ask, are you learning English? Now remember in our timeline, the action has to be in progress. So there's some kind of continuation. That's why we call it the present continuous. But remember, it could start in the past and it can continue in the future. That's okay, but it has to have some relationship to now and some form of continuing. Can you make some more examples? 
write them on the comment section below. Remember to click the subscribe button and ring the bell. Give us a thumbs up and see you guys on the next Mundo Inglés America video. Peace out.